Now, let's look at the steps involved in solving an equation with rational expressions. Okay. The first thing you would do, your first step would be to multiply each side of the equation by your least common denominator uh, so that you can clear your equation of any uh, fractions. The next thing you would do is, of course, solve the resulting equation uh, that you created in step one. So you would go ahead and solve that in step two. Now, step three is, again, very important when you're working with these uh, rational expressions. You would check each proposed solution by substituting it in the original equation. Now, remember, reject any that make your denominator zero, okay? You will reject any values that cause your denominator to equal to zero. So these are the three steps involved in solving an equation. So let's go ahead and start with uh, a simple example here. You have 2z plus 1 over 5 equals 7z plus 5 equals 15. So you can see you have two denominators here, 5 and 15. The first thing you would do is go ahead and find your least common denominator. Uh, 5 and 15, I guess your least common denominator would have to be 15, because 5 would go into 15 three times, and 15 goes in itself once. The next thing you would do is multiply the whole equation by your least common denominator. So we multiply the left-hand side by 2z, um, 2z plus 1 over 5 into 15 and multiply the um, right-hand side also by our LCD. So you can see uh, 5 will go into 15 three times. You can go ahead and reduce it that way if you like. And that will leave you with 3 times 2z plus 1 because we got rid of a denominator. On the other side, 15 will go into 15 once, and all you are left with is 7z plus 5. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and solve this and see what value of z we come up with. You will see, uh, you will start by distributing that 3 inside your parentheses here, which will give you 3 2s are 6z plus 3 1s are 3, so 6z plus 3 equals 7z plus 5. So we start by subtracting 6z on both sides, get your like terms on the same side, uh, which will give us 7 minus 6 is just 1z, or you can just put it as z. Now if you want, you can move your 5 over to the other side, and this will give us a positive 3 minus 5, which is negative 2. Okay? So once you come up with uh, this form here, z equals negative 2, go ahead and, you know, check your uh, answer. And you will end up with 2 times negative 2 plus 1 over 5 equals 7 times negative 2 plus 5 over 15. And what do you end up with? This will give you all right, let's see. This will give us um, negative four plus one, which will be negative three over five. On the other side, you have seven times negative two, which is um, negative fourteen plus 5 will give us negative 9 over 15. Now, you can see these are not quite equal yet. I mean, they don't look the same uh, in number. So let's go ahead and reduce our negative 9 over 15. Now, 9 and 15 will both go into 3. 9 will go into 3, three times, and then you have that negative on that. 5 will go into 3 five times. And you can see you end up with a true statement. So that tells you that uh, your solution set will have z equals negative 2. Okay, so negative 2 will be your solution 
to this uh, problem that we started out with originally. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and look at uh, a couple more examples. In this example, you have k over k minus 4 minus 5 equals 4 over uh, k minus 4. Now, let's go ahead and first find the values for which our denominator will equal 0. Okay? So if you look at this, both your denominators here are the same, k minus 4 equals 0. So if you solve this, that tells you k equals 4. So the idea is we want to exclude k equals 4 because this is when your denominator will equal 0. So uh, keep that in mind when you are working uh, through your solutions. Now, let's go ahead and talk about our least common denominator. Okay? So you have k minus 4. Again, remember, you can take this to be over 1. So you have k minus 4, 1. k minus 4 as your three different denominators. So you can see, in this case, uh, k minus 4 will be your least common denominator. Now, just like we did earlier, we will take k minus 4 and multiply each uh, part or each side of our equation with our least common denominator. Okay? So you take your least common denominator and multiply each side of your equation by that LCD. And let's see what are we left with. Uh, k minus 4 and k minus 4 here will cancel out. And you will be left with just the numerator k. When you multiply 5 with k minus 4, again, since you don't have a denominator, you cannot do anything but multiply 5 into k minus 4. Okay, so that takes care of the left-hand side. On the other side, again, k minus 4 and k minus 4 will cancel out. And all you will be left with is 4 on the other side. Okay? So once we do that, you are left with uh, k minus 5k plus 20 equals 4. Okay? Combine your like terms on this side. Take the 20 over to the other side. And k minus 5k will give you negative 4k equals negative 16 and then to isolate k we will divide both sides by negative 4 and what do you end up with k equals positive 4 okay now that you have k equals positive 4 let's go back and see where we started out with we started out with when is our denominator equal to 0. So we took uh, our denominators here and set it equal to 0. And we said that when k equals 4, our denominators will equal 0, and that's what we got as our solution set. Just to be uh, doubly sure, let's go ahead and check what happens when we put k equals 4 in our original equation. So your original equation is k over k minus 4 minus 5 equals 4 over k minus 4. So when we substitute in k equals 4, you will end up with 4 over 4 minus 4 minus 5 equals 4 over 4 minus 4. Basically, just substituting our k's with 4, and you can see you will end up with 4 over 0 minus 5 equals 4 over 0. These are undefined. So you will say as your solution set, you can of course not include 4 in your solution set and that's the only one number that you came up with. So this tells us your solution set is an empty set. In other words, there is no solution to this uh, equation here because the only solution we came up with 
is the one we cannot use because it makes our denominator zero. That's why, remember, it is important to check your answers anytime you come up with a solution to any one of these problems. All right, let's look at another example here, just to get a different idea. Here, you have 2 over p plus 3 plus uh, 3 eighths equals 5 over 4p plus 12. So, um, let's go ahead and see when each one of these denominators will be equal to 0. Now, you have p plus 3 equals 0. That tells you it will equal 0 when p equals negative 3. You have 4p plus 12 equal to 0, so that tells you p will equal 0, I'm sorry, this denominator will equal 0 when um, p is negative 3. Again, if you solve this uh, for p plus 12, you will see that you end up with p equals negative 3 again. So that tells us if p equals negative 3 comes as uh, your solution, you want to discard that uh, value from your solution set. Okay, now let's go ahead and find our least common denominator. Now, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but if you will notice here, 4p plus 12, you can factor that out. And 4p plus 12 will factor out into 4 on the outside, p plus 3. Okay, that's what 4p plus 12 will factor into. So basically you end up with p plus 3 and p plus 3 here, and that was the reason why you ended up with p equals negative 3 uh, as your answer here because, you know, p plus 3 and p plus 3 is part of both your denominators here. So if you look at this, you have p plus 3 and p plus 3, which is common, between um, both these denominators, okay? This one has the number 4, this one has the number 8. 8 will go into itself and 8 will go into 4, so you'll put that as part of your LCD also. So you'll end up with 8 times the quantity p plus 3 as your least common denominator. Now just like we did earlier, take each side of your equation and multiply it into your least common denominator, so that will give you 8 times p plus 3 into 2 over p plus 3 plus 3 eighths. And on the other side, you will multiply 5 over, now instead of writing this as 4p plus 12, I will write it in its factored form, just because it will be easier uh, when we multiply with the LCD. and you multiply this by 8 times p plus 3, okay? Now, as you will see, when we multiply our first term into our least common denominator, the p plus 3 and the p plus 3 will cancel out, and you will be left with 8 times 2, okay? Because these two will be gone, and you're left with 8 times 2, which will be 16. On the other side, when you multiply 3 eighths with the LCD, the 8 and the 8 will cancel out. So that leaves you with 3 times uh, P plus 3. Okay. Uh, so that takes care of your left-hand side. Now on your right-hand side, you have uh, 4 P plus 3 and then 8 uh, P plus 3. So again, P plus 3, P plus 3 cancel out. And then uh, 4 and 8, 4 will go into 8 twice, so you will be left with 5 times 2. Let me explain that again. P plus 3, P plus 3 cancel out, right? So those two terms are gone. And then between the 8 and the 4, you know 4 will go into 8 twice, so that's where that 2 comes from. And then you have this 5 left over, which will be the 5 times 2 down here, okay? Same thing happened here. I put this as 16, but this was your uh, 8 times 2 here, okay? So now let's go ahead and simplify this. You have 16, and you will distribute this, so that will give you 3p 
plus 9 equals 5 twos are 10. Okay, uh, you will start uh, by uh, taking your like terms on the other side. So 16 plus 9 will give you, uh, let me see, 25. So you will end up with 3p equals 10 minus 25. You basically took these two terms, added them together, and moved it to the other side. So that will give you 3p equals negative 15. To get p by itself, divide both sides by 3. And you will end up with p equals negative 5. Okay? So p equals negative 5 is what you're coming up as your uh, solution for this problem. And we said that you would have to exclude p equals negative 3 from your solution set. So, of course, we didn't have uh, p equals negative 3 as our answer. But again, remember, always a good practice to check your answers, nevertheless, okay? So let's go ahead and check our solution here. Now your original equation was 2 over p plus 3 plus 3 eighths equals 5 over 4p plus 12, okay? So if we substitute p with negative 5, What will we end up with? You will end up with 2 over negative 2 plus 3 eighths equals 5 over, let's see, this will give us negative uh, 20 plus 12. Negative 20 plus 12 will give us negative 8. Okay. If you combine the left-hand side again, you will have to find a common denominator between uh, 8 and negative 2, which would have to be negative 8. So you will end up with um, negative 4 plus 3. Or did I miss that? No, because we want to. I'm sorry, that has to be uh, negative 8. Never mind, I miscalculated. So that should be uh, negative 8 plus 3 equals 5, negative 8. And this way you will end up with negative 5 over 8 equals negative 5 over 8. Okay? So again, you will see you end up with a true statement. So that tells us our solution set for this problem is going to be p equals negative 5. And there you have it. Okay.